it went the way I thought it would at council. Uh, it's it's good news to the community. I know that we are lifting our state of emergency after two years, almost to the day. Uh, it was March 2021, uh, 21st, 2020, two years ago that I first enacted that. And uh, to have all of council join together to be able to lift that and, and really send a signal to the community that we are moving to a different phase in this very long journey of facing the pandemic. And, and some of the things that we love are coming back and we don't have the need to have a state of emergency in our city anymore, uh, but still be careful, you know, wear a mask voluntarily. We can talk about uh, the bylaw for sure. And, uh, you know, still take precautions. The, the virus is still there, but we have much better understanding of it. We have uh, the tools to help protect and keep ourselves safe and those around us uh, and continue to, to take those precautions and of course, get vaccinated. Your third booster is the best defense against um, you know, serious uh, risk if you do catch COVID. Now, much like anything with COVID and masks, of course, it's a very divisive issue. Uh, from this, I know it was just last night, but have you felt a lot of pushback from the community or do you feel like, hey, um, everyone's pretty much on board here? Well, the community is has very mixed views about the mask bylaw, not so much the physical distancing. Uh, people were generally supportive of that. I, as I say, hugs are back. Uh, I'm a hugger, so I'm, I'm very excited about that. Uh, but with masks, uh, the, the community is still very concerned. And the even though our regional medical officer of health and the one uh, uh, in Ontario did recommend removing bylaws, all health officials are still recommending that people wear a mask in certain settings, uh, voluntary. So it's still a very important health measure for people to take. Uh, so why don't we have a bylaw? It, it became clear to me that it was going to be increasingly diff difficult with the region, the three municipalities around us and the province lifting the bylaw that it would be very difficult for us to enforce a mask bylaw and put our frontline retail grocery hospitality sector workers in a really, really tough spot to enforce this. And I didn't feel it was appropriate to burden them uh, with that. And, and you know, they've already sacrificed enough uh, throughout this. But there is a recommendation to continue to voluntarily wear a mask, uh, in, in, especially when you're indoors or in close contact or indoors for long periods of time. So uh, I was out and about yesterday. Um, wearing my mask and and so were lots of people uh, at the grocery store that I was at. So I, I think you're going to continue to see that for a long time. Uh, but it's also really important to remember that it's not a mask free for all out there. Uh, masks are still required by provincial legislation on transit. It's still required in long term care, congregate care and federally it's required if you've traveled out, outside the country. Uh, so anyone who went away for March break has to wear a mask when they come back if they were out of the country and uh, and if you're in close contact with somebody. So I really strongly recommend that people always have a mask with them uh, because you don't know if you're going to be in a situation where you're going to be required to wear it. So how about yourself? I mean, obviously, you're going to be getting back out into the community. There will be photo ops. Some will be indoor. Some will be outdoor. How are you coming to the conclusion of whether, you know, the mayor's masked or unmasked? Well, I'm going to uh, keep wearing it, mm -hmm. uh, certainly when I'm out and about in inside in public places, out of respect for people who uh, are, first of all, immunocompromised, can't get vaccinated, young people can't get vaccinated. Uh, so, you know, that that's a way to for me to be respectful of folks or in businesses and places uh, where, you know, they can't enforce that you do, uh, but really would prefer. So out of respect for uh, people and for the for public health, uh, this is a public health issue. Uh, I'll continue to do that. Uh, if I'm eating at a restaurant, obviously, and, and taking a picture of, of the group of us at a table, that's different. Uh, so um, for the foreseeable future, that's what I'll be doing.